Hello guys and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss what are the benefits of integrated mtech. So now uh, I will talk about which are the different uh, courses VIT is offering and apart from that what are the pros and what are the cons, how is the placements, all those stuff. So all this information I am going to discuss in this video. So many of uh, people they asked me uh, what is the difference between BTEC and integrated MTEC. As you know BTEC course is 4 years course and MTEC integrated course is 5 years course and after that you will get degree of MTEC so you can save here one year of time. So suppose those definitely want to go for MTEC in India after completion of BTEC I would suggest them instead of going for BTEC you directly join for integrated MTEC. So after five years you will have MTEC degree with you. Second question they asked me uh, can we join MS after doing integrated uh, MTEC? Of course you can join MS in other countries uh, and you have to choose your stream accordingly because in MTEC itself you have a very limited uh, specification domain like data science. Uh, so likewise only you have to choose if you want to go for MS after completion of integrated MTEC. I already gave all information about integrated MTech course. I am giving link here. You just go and check out there. Apart from this, what is the uh, fee category available for uh, this uh, course? So previously they have mentioned only three categories on uh, VIT portal, but I am not sure about up to category five if it is there. What is the fee? So as compared to the last uh, data, what I got from that, I can say this. The first category fees are 93,000, second category fees is 1,65,000. This is a tuition fee, an additional hostel fee you have to pay. And then third is third category is 1,94,000. So if I want to talk about placements, you don't worry about placements. Once you will be uh, coming in VIT, you, you need not worry about placements. But I will uh, ask you to uh, be good in at least one coding language, at least in Python. So by that you will uh, get a good job after completion of your MTech course. So many of companies uh, they will do comparison between MTech and uh, integrated MTech and BTech. Mostly they will prefer uh, many few companies mostly will, they just uh, want a BTech student. But it's not like that all companies will do that. So you have to prepare a language se prepare karni hai in past salome Because nowadays more jobs are towards IT companies and data science, machine learning, deep learning, these things are booming like everything. So you have to be uh, very much uh, strong in coding. At least a language aapko achhe si aane chahiye. This is my one of the compulsory advice for you. Just be prepared in one language. You know already VIT will give at least 100% placement for VTech students. So for MTech also the same, if you are in good specialization, definitely you will get a good job also. So please maintain your CPI and be good in at least one language. Apart from this, average uh, package is 8, 8 lakhs to 9 lakhs. Uh, and highest package for uh, uh, BTEC student for this year is up to 1 crore. So of course those students got 1 crore package, they are really good in coding and their curriculums, no doubt about that. So my advice would be if you are joining integrated MTech, uh, join in any branch, any stream, only the point is you have to maintain the CPI and Languages you have to be good in the components of projects, in the curriculum, in the academic curriculum, you have to be good in the curriculum. So by that your placements will get uh, confirmed. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this information, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.